You got the mayor of Chicago losing her mind on social media, LARPing over here like a tyrant. It's funny just reading this stuff. And but at the same time, people feel so comfortable, you know, people feel so comfortable nowadays playing the tyrant. And she tweeted, she tweeted, uh, this is yesterday or today. I think it's yesterday. And she says, to put it simply, if you haven't taken the medicine, your time is up. If you wish to live life with the ease to do things you love. Again, this is part, this is part of the Declaration of Independence. Your right to the pursuit of happiness. They are saying, we are going to impede upon your right to pursue things. Just, again, this is literally out of the Declaration of Independence. If you want to live life with the ease to do the things you love, right? The pursuit of happiness. This is an infringement upon the Declaration of Independence. And then, of course, they go on to say, you must do this, right? Whatever this is. Any person who said, who is using this sort of tactic is just coercion, right? That's, exact, that's exactly what coercion is. The practice of persuading one to do something by the use of force or threats, right? And so what they're saying is, is that if you want to continue to have access to the Declaration of Independence, right? If you want to live your life that way, well, then you got to do this. And there's always an or else. She goes on to say, this order may pose an inconvenience to those who haven't taken it. And in fact, it is inconvenient by design. And so this is what they do. They create these laws and mandates and edicts like they sit up here like I sit a king and you're being disobedient to the to me. And the outcome is not going to be good for you. Right? We're going to take your job away. We're going to take your pension away. As the hospitalizations in the city are at their highest since our surge last winter, deaths, deaths are at a higher rate than we've seen in months. And so is their murder rate. But of course, they don't want to, <laughs> Lori Lightfoot not looking to address the murder rate. This is on top of all this, we can expect a post holiday surge. And it's not like these people are unmedicated. It's not like no one out there has taken it. And it's so funny to sit here. This is, this is Joe Biden's America that we are higher cases. And of course, according to her, higher hospitalizations and higher deaths, which is what matters. So how does that happen in an era where you have more people who are medicated? And again, not everybody has taken it, but this narrative, see, this is, this is the problem with this whole narrative. If it worked as good as they said it does, then the disease would disappear, right? Or at the least you would see less severity. You would see less severity and any rational thinking person would sit here and be like, well, if it works, then we should see what I just stated, right? We should see less cases. We should see less hospitalizations. We should see less deaths. But then they turn around and say, well, the reason that we have more is because of the people who didn't take it. And I'd be like, well, that doesn't make sense because you can look in all these areas where they have taken it and they still have more. So what's the narrative? It's just tyranny. The narrative is tyranny at the end of the day. And so this is just what gets utilized in the beginning stages of tyranny, where they literally openly state that we are going to infringe on your rights, the right to pursue things that make you happy, the, the right to live your life and be left alone. They feel so comfortable posting it on social media. It's not like something that gets said, you know, in an interview and she misspoke. This gets plastered onto the internet for everybody to see. And, they, and yet these people feel so comfortable. These people see, feel so comfortable doing it. They have forgotten what Americans used to be like way back when. And hopefully, you know, one day people like this will. Because the only thing that you can do with a tyrant is put them down. That's it. Because at the end of the day, they advocate force against you. And so the answer is always force. You don't r rational, rationalize. You cannot reason with people who want to use force against you. That's their answer. 
Their answer is you're not doing what I'm telling you. We're going to utilize force in the form of sanctioned gangs, right? The police are sanctioned gangs by the state. It's not that difficult to understand. But for a lot of people, they're like, well, hey, it's not in my state. That's in Chicago. Chicago's a shithole. And it's like, well, what do you do when it finally comes to your doorstep? You know, Ron DeSantis and Abbott are not going to be there forever. And if you believe that elections were mismanaged, we'll say, if that is your belief, what makes you think it can happen in your neck of the neighborhood, in, in, your, in your neck of the woods? What would you do then? People in Arizona didn't do anything. Arizona had been red a long time. And then people were like, ah, oh, people who were moving, you know, I'm just like, same thing in California, same thing in New York, same thing happened to Texas. Texas almost blew. This election that just passed, Texas could have flipped blue if, that, if they needed it, but they didn't. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. What are you going to do?